Google came out with one of the smallest but most capable models currently available in the market. This is so important because this is a powerful, efficient and mobile first AI model. This is insane. Let me cover the latest news for it. Down below in the description, you will find two videos covering the new state of the art video generation and coding models from Google. We covered that in a separate video, but you will also find the first diffusion text models from Google that is so fast and very, very capable. So again, I will cover that in a video down below in the description. After you watch this video, go watch this because really Google has made significant leaps in AI. The future looks so scary and so amazingly cool. So what is Gemma 3N? How good is it? Why this is a big deal? So guys, after Gemma 3, which is really one great model, if you see this chatbot arena leaderboard, it's the 34th best model, or actually this is the model that we're talking about. It's not state of the art. It's just a little worse than Cloud 3.7, a little worse than Quen 30 billion model while being 10 times smaller. I, I will tell you everything about it, but really Google has been making some great open source models. Here you can see the 24, 27 billion model. This is Gemma 3 and it's really so, so good. It's so, so good and it's so, so small. Literally it fits in a single uh, cloud GPU. So guys, this is Gemma 3N. So this is the first open model that is building on new technologies and scientific discoveries. So this is a collaboration between hardware leaders like Qualcomm, MediaTek and Samsung to bring finally AI models that are super capable on mobile devices. And this is just the start. So if you see here, guys, it's just a little worse than Cloud 3.7 Sonnet, which is such a good model for coding. This is insane. It's also quite a lot better than GPT 4.1 Nano, and it's better than Llama 4 Maverick with 70 billion active parameters. And it's a lot better than Phi 4 from Microsoft with 14 billion parameters. And this model has only 4 billion parameters. You could literally run this model on your phone, on your computer, wherever you want. And here you can see its capabilities as you scale the effective number of billion parameters. So we see some great returns by just double the number of parameters. We see like a 12% improvement, absolute improvement. So this is a very great multi-model model. So from the ground up, this model is multi-model, which is a big deal. It also has audio, visual text understanding. It has a per layer embedding with caching and a very special transformer architecture that makes it quite efficient. I firmly expect these kinds of models to also become bigger and bigger and we will start seeing them in laptops. We start seeing them in tablets and I firmly expect that this is a very big deal. Of course, this could run in pretty much any phone available right now. You will probably see it embedded in pretty much any Google phone, any Android phone. So that's a big deal. We're going to see some very good AI capabilities on our phones. And guys, it's a very good model. Like it's such a small model, only 4 billion parameters uh, that are that are smartly activated because most of them, you know, the parameters loaded are only 1.9 billion, but in total, it's like 4 billion with this smart caching. So for such a small model with text, audio, and vision understanding, it's a big deal how smart it is. Guys, it's the 34th smartest model and it's only like 10%, 15% worse than Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview that came out lately, and it's like 10% worse than Grok 3. Like, this is such a small difference. 10% smaller, 10% worse, while being 4 billion models and running on, our, on literally any, any mobile phone. Any mobile phone. This is a big deal. This is a very big deal, and it shows the trend of the future. Guys, we're going to see smaller and smaller models. It's going to be so amazing. It's going to be so beautiful. And this will be absolutely unprecedented. Literally, you cannot expect it. It's, it's going to be crazy. We're going to see smaller models powering pretty much any device we have. Maybe in the future, it will be on smartwatches, on glasses, on phones phones, on tablets, on sensors, on anything, even internet routers, even that. It's going to be insane because it's so cheap to run these models. It's they're, they're capable and small. You literally need a $100 hardware to run this, $100 hardware to run this thing. It's, it's crazy. So yeah, this is a super big deal. Even if you don't understand, make sure to subscribe. If you want to learn more about leveraging AI tools, click on the link down below. You are going to be redirected into this page. You can enroll in my AI master course. I will teach you how to leverage pretty much any available AI tool. I will be updating this you know, course every single week with loads of more expertise and tools and amazing things. You don't want to miss out on that. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button. I will see you on the next one. Bye.